And now to a Fox News alert. The hits keep coming. NBC at it again. This time their cable outlet has reported what it says is President Trump's tax returns from the year 2005. The White House has responded tonight. Trace Gallagher is here with the details. Hey, Trace. And we're kind of watching Rachel Maddow as she goes on here, Tucker. And what we're learning is that she so far has revealed very little, if anything, about these taxes, saying that they were uncovered by an investigative reporter um, and that, in fact, the, the big mystery here is how these things surfaced in the first place. And maybe that would lead to further avenues of reporting. We know, as you said, the taxes are from 2005. That's the year that Donald Trump married Melania. And that's the year he shut down his controversial Trump University. It was also his second year on The Apprentice on NBC. The White House tonight responded to MSNBC saying that in 2005, Donald Trump paid $38 million in taxes on $150 million in income and that he paid no more than he was legally required. Now, the White House went on to say, and we're quoting here, you know you are desperate, referring to MSNBC, you know you are desperate for ratings when you are willing to violate the law to push a story about two pages of tax returns from over a decade ago. Of course, income wouldn't be the big revelation here, considering that we know in 1995, Mr. Trump declared a $916 million loss, which would have allowed him to legally avoid paying any taxes for up to 18 years. Also on the show, we expect in the next few minutes will be this Trump biographer and investigative journalist David K. Johnston, who is the one who apparently obtained these tax returns. He was billed as also being a financial and tax expert reporter. Last year, Johnston is also the one, you may recall, who asked the New York Attorney General to investigate Trump's charitable foundation as well as his tax returns. What journalists have been actively looking for in any of these tax returns or documents is any financial ties, particularly suspect financial ties, maybe even to Russia. Donald Trump has maintained the only ones interested in his tax returns are reporters and that he would not release his returns while he's being audited. The IRS, we should note, has said that an audit does not prevent someone from releasing tax documents. The White House goes on to say it is totally illegal to publish tax returns and is bashing the, quote, dishonest media. We are continuing to monitor anything that might come out of these two pages of tax returns from 2005. So far, very little has been revealed. Tucker. Thanks a lot, Trace. We're joined now by our colleague Kimberly Guilfoyle. She is also an attorney. Kimberly, there's a lot about this story we don't know. It's unfolding uh, even as we speak. But the White House somehow had foreknowledge of this uh, before it aired. It's airing right now on another channel. How do you think, wh where did this come from? What's the backstory? Any idea? Well, I was listening in my other ear to uh, Rachel Maddon to her program, um, and basically she said there was a subject of an, an investigation, investigated reporter provided this information. As an attorney, I will tell you that I would begin to question right away the legality of this, how they were able to obtain this, and clearly this is another uh, political move to try to discredit the presidency of Donald Trump, so it comes as no surprise to anybody that politics is at play here. Um, Trace is uh, right. And he said in his reporting to you that, in fact, uh, there was some kind of nefarious uh, relationship, is what Rachel Maddow is saying, between Donald Trump and a Russian oligarch that purchased a home for $100 million. And she said, why was there all of a sudden this windfall of an additional $60 million more than the house was originally worth at $40 million? So trying to say, again, to tie into the Russian narrative, that there's some kind mm. of untoward conduct, that perhaps that should be looked at. Because other than that, what you see is that Donald Trump, is a very wealthy man. Shocking. Donald Trump paid a lot of money in taxes, some $38 million in taxes that year. So what else is there to say that's really that shocking or revealing? She has a couple pages of it, so she's going through that. And again, it's primarily focusing on what was this real estate transaction, and that was the last thing that she was uh, talking about and trying to right. make some kind of connection there, some nexus, and then, of course, tying in. And she even mentioned Wilbur Ross and past jobs that he's had, trying to tie it into the Trump administration. Right. Who was seen, I think, on the grassy knoll. Um, if, if anything, this sort of <laughs> highlights the need for tax reform. So 38 million on 150, if legal, and they're saying it is, no one's alleging otherwise, is a much lower rate than I pay. Uh, so there's that. 
And but he has suggested, big... in fact, tax reforms right. um, himself, you know, in terms of saying what people should be able to pay, et cetera. So to me, I'm not sure. I mean, perhaps they're going to get to more on the story here. Right. But obviously, yes, this is an attempt at a, a ratings grab, an attempt also to try to, again, like, poke the cage politically and, you know, stir the pot as it relates to the Russian relationship, which you've seen that really heavily covered by the mainstream media, you know, almost every single day to the point of uh, exhaustion. And uh, that's what we're seeing right now, again. So to me, so far, legally, there doesn't appear to be any impropriety whatsoever as it right. relates to the return, which was properly filed based on the tax laws at the time. Right. Was it properly obtained, though? That's the question. Well, I think most of us file our issue. taxes and imagine they're kind of private information, sacrosanct, actually. So, how Absolutely. would something like this be So, she's public? saying that somebody has turned this over to them or to the powers that be at uh, MSNBC or to her team. She's an investigative uh, journalism. But somebody should get to the bottom of this because the IRS or other people, this is just, again, more of a story we've been covering, which is leaks. More leaks. Who, in fact, would turn over this private and confidential privilege information? Right. Uh, they're doing so at their own peril because if you find out who did this, there could be serious, uh, you know, legality issues here. And also, I'd be concerned, you know, as a journalist, if you proffer this information and essentially publish somebody's tax returns and their private information. Yeah, I mean, what, what's ironic, of course, is I think a lot of people in the press assumed that President Trump had paid nothing in taxes. Mm -hmm. That was certainly the allegation, and he didn't really deny it, actually, during the campaign. Here you have him paying $38 million on $150. Mm -hmm. well, final question, is there any scenario that you can think of where a tax return might be public, other than if it was released by the person who filed it? Yeah, other than somebody filing it themselves, no. And But she doesn't have the complete return. So right. there's just a couple pages that she's focusing in on, I believe, like the 1040 statements. So, yeah. you know, we'll have to see what the rest of the reporting on it, uh, you know, reveals. But right now, the main, the headline, the thrust of it was Russia, real estate, oligarch, like, you know, buzzwords that they're using to try to demonize and scare everyone. Um, they like to throw out the oligarch thing because that, like, makes everybody <laughs> shock and awe. <laughs> Russia. Right, Russia. KG, Here. it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for that. Just don't say KGB. <laughs> I will not say KGB. Oh, my Thank goodness. <laughs>